Hey, 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 what's good with you, my boy? I hope that you haven't taken care of yourself and that everything has been going in the right pie direction. I'm getting straight to your point. So the bigger topic I got for you today is that what happens after you relapse on the long streak on semi-tension and no fat. So I'm gonna speak from my experience. The benefits that you gain on your streak, on your horse high streak, you are going to lose some of it, but majority of it is still going to be there with you when you do relax on your long streak. So that's the thing that I know is that when I did relax for the first few days at the stage, I noticed that I wasn't as sharp mentally. Like at first I did not peak, but throughout the days, subconsciously it's like my vibration went down because of the fact that I wasn't as sharp mentally. I did feel some brain fog just a little bit though, but but just in general, just overall though, you still gonna be high vibrational though, but you might notice that your vibration might go down a little bit, whereas that you're not going to be as sharp mentally. It was like, I really did peep a difference because I know that I wasn't feeling as sharp mentally. I didn't feel naturally as good as I did on the day I hit 100 days on my street. I noticed that, I noticed that subconsciously I was doing some low vibrational things like like I know that I was not doing when I was on my street, when I was really going crazy on my street, you feel me? So that's the thing you might notice too. Like subconsciously, you might start doing things that your old self used to did prior to being on your street. Not to say that I'm not completely back to my old self or anything like that. I'm still high vibrational. I'm still aware of the journey. I'm still aware that I'm on the journey, but it was like subconsciously I was I was doing things that was that was low vibrational, that was like in my low self for real, but but it was like I had to peep that I was doing the, those certain things and I had to, so I had to get myself back right, you feel me? I had to I had to like myself to get my to get to to get my mind right to get myself right it was like i was letting i was letting dane get to my head that i know that usually it don't get to my head it was like you got to realize the fact that your brain fluid is connected to your sperm so when you do let go of your sperm it's like you're losing some of that brain fluid. It's like no matter what, when you do relapse, you are going to lose those nutrients still, even though you're on 200 days and you finally relapse, you're still going to lose those things that come with your sperm, such as your brain fluid. So I know it's I'm so I know is that I wasn't as sharp mentally. That's probably the main thing that I know is about my relapse on this long street that I was on, you feel me? So another thing too is that I wasn't I wasn't feeling as naturally good as I was on my street. Like I know for a fact that I know for a fact that when I was on my street, when I was on 100 days, I felt naturally good, bro. It was like I was just naturally high life but when you do finally relapse some of your energy is going to go down it's like no matter how much you build your energy up on the journey it's like when you do bust on the journey some of that energy is going to go away so you're not going to feel the same as you did for instance you was on a 20 day street you was on a 100 day streak and you do relapse you're not going to feel the same no matter what yeah of course you might still feel good but 
you're going to notice the difference. You're going to feel the difference. Whereas that when you didn't relapse versus when you did relapse, like that's why I mean is by you're going to notice the real power of the journey. You're going to notice like how powerful this journey really is. Like you're really going to notice how powerful your seed really is when you do relapse on this journey, you feel me? So that's the thing that I noticed too, is that it's like, it's like I wasn't feeling as good as I was when I didn't bust one, you feel me? It was like, it was like, I still feel good. I still feel good though. I still feel high vibrational. I still, I still feel myself though. It's like, it's the small stuff that you really got peep when you're on the journey. It's the little thing you got to know is you, like you really got to be aware and and like on point with these things that you're going to go through on your journey. It's like the two biggest things that I can notice is that my energy went down a little bit. Second thing is that first thing is that my energy going down a little bit and the second thing is that like my mental clarity like my mind my brain i know is that i wasn't as sharp as i was like mentally like i was letting things get to my head that i know that for sure like ho 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 like why am i falling for this right now like I know I ain't tripping and I had to look myself in the mirror and just like, just talk to myself, like, and just talk to myself and question myself, like, what is going on? Like, why are you, like, why are you letting this get to your head? Like, normally this is like nothing. It's like, it's going straight off my chest. But when I did relapse, I was letting that get to my head. It was like, it was like, it was like this relapse was trying to get me to go back to my old self but when i did relapse i did notice that my body was trying to get me to relapse over and over again it's like my body did want to go into that chasing effect whereas that i banished relapse over and over and over again whereas that <laughs> i lose everything that i ever experienced on my journey it was like my body was subconsciously testing me to see if I was actually mentally strong, if I was actually taking this journey seriously, you feel me? You got to realize the fact that your dopamine receptors is finally getting activated. Let's say you was on the very long street, 100 plus days, 200 plus days, you feel me? Stuff in that range, like you even hitting 100 days it's like your dopamine receptors haven't got activated in months in a while so when they do finally get activated again after you relapse it's like it's like like the urges get stronger in the way whereas that your body craving for more your your body wants that dope me. Your body is craving for that dope me. So, so the urges to go relapse again is going to be there. It's going to hit differently because I know the fact that I wanted to go relapse again. So I realized that I cannot go down that path because of the journey that I'm on. Because I'm the person that. I'm striving towards that. I'm becoming day by day. If I was to go down that path of relaxing, of binge relaxing, I will be contradicting myself basically. And so it's probably gonna be the same for you too. Like when you do relapse after that long streak, it's like your dopamine receptors is going to get so activated to a point where it's that your body is going to crave more. It's going to crave more to relax, you feel me? So you got to recognize the fact that you cannot let your lower self, your lower nature get the best of you. You wanting 
to crave to bust one again that is your lower self communicating to you and you cannot let your lower self control you get the best of you you feel me you got to have that self-control that self-discipline after you relapse still you still got to have these things on point you still got to be on point because if you're not on point and you're not aware of what's really going on you might fall victim to ban freelancing and i know for sure that you don't want to go down the path of ban freelancing so you gotta recognize the fact that one mistake don't define you one relapse do not define you you on your journey you went all the days of putting the work for yourself you getting right with the most high you getting right with god and you finna let one day throw your whole entire journey away you finna let one mistake throw your whole like everything you did like all the work you put in for yourself you finna let one relapse like you finna let one relapse make you overlook all the things that you did for yourself no bro you cannot let that define you it's like you gotta keep going you feel me so i'm gonna end this video right here if you got to this point i want to say i really appreciate you and i love you for watching this whole time banging right here you feel me and let me know what's going on with y'all in the comment section for us like y'all on your journeys how y'all doing how y'all treating yourself you feel me and to the next video i love y'all man let's get it